Hello everyone, it's your boy Bryce Pitts zero one. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I know I haven't got a chance to think about this, but now since I kind of been processing it, now I kind of understand it. So we don't know we or should I say? Mm -mm, let me just start. Out. Let me let me digress for a second. So WWE wants to tell all of us, including wrestling fans, that we are no longer having the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. Now we have the regular WWE Women's World Champion, World Championship, and Rhea Ripley has that title, and then EO Sky has the WWE Women's Undisputed Championship, or should I say the WWE Women's Championship. I know this is going to sound like a hot take or just a thought about this title. First and foremost, I don't hate the title. I think the title looks pretty good. But adding the word undisputed on it, if it's going to just say WWE Women's Championship or the Women's Champion, you can't just keep the word undisputed on it because it wouldn't make any sense. Why do I, why, you probably wonder why does Bryce Pitts does not think that makes any sense. What does it mean to be undisputed? Basically, look at Roman Reigns as an example. He is the undisputed Universal Champion. He hasn't let go of the Universal Championship. He's basically surpassing Hulk Hogan as the World Champion, but meanwhile, nobody hasn't surpassed him as Universal Champion, so... He's kind of just there for the ride, and not only that, he's not going to he's not going to let go of his universal title and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship that he has as well. So I think he's trying to be world champion and universal champion in combined. So hopefully Roman Reigns loses that title soon, but that's in another later video for now. But I just want to talk about just the women's championship, aka the women's universal. Universal. What am I saying? Universal. Ult uh, ultimate. No. Undisputed. Undisputed. When someone's undisputed, that means they're unstoppable. They're unde undefeated. Like you can't, you can't beat them. Basically. So, either treat the title as the most unstoppable championship in the whole entire world that anybody can win and be unstoppable without nobody taking the title. That would be great. Or if you just want to call it the good old regular WWE Women's Champion, or just Championship in general, just get rid of the word undisputed. Just, just, just take the title, remaster it. Just get the word, take the word out of it, and then bada bing, bada boom, you fixed it. Now it's the Women's World Championship, or just the WWE Women's Championship. It doesn't have to be that hard. I guess WWE is not going to change their titles anytime soon. I mean, I will be talking about the WWE United States Championship on why I think they should fix it. Because, number one, you're missing the red, white, and blue. It's not red, white, and gold. It's red, white, and blue. I'm just saying. I just kind of feel like the, the U.S. Championship is dead. I hate to say that or I don't want to admit it. I'm just saying it. I don't want to say it, but I just did. So, the U.S. Championship itself, it's dead. Unless they fix it. Because how are we supposed to respect a champion who is the United States Champion? No matter if you're from the U.S., no matter if you're from Mexico, Canada, England, even Japan and all that matter. Basically, all around the world, anybody can be U.S. Champion. No matter if you're a face or a good guy or holding the title as long as you can until you lose it to the next person. That just kind of frustrates me as a wrestling fan. Just make your titles look really good. That's all I'm asking. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, I'm not going to watch wrestling if they don't fix these titles. That's not what I'm saying. That's not the point. The point is we have to give wrestling shows a little bit of criticism when it comes to making a championship. Because when someone's the champion, it makes them important. You're making a star out of them. Like, look at Rhea Ripley right now. She's the great... She's a real, She's doing a good job as WWE Women's World Champion right now. Because she's champion of the world right now. And will she lose the championship to... I don't know, Raquel Rodriguez or Gonzalez? I like to call her Gonzalez better. But it is what it is. 
or is she going to lose to a returning Nia Jax? I didn't know Nia Jax was coming back, but poof, she's back. So I don't know if she's going to beat her for the title, or it's going to be Raquel, or it's going to be Liv Morgan. I don't know. I'm just not that sure, but in conclusion, am I going to call this championship the WWE Women's Champion, or the or am I going to call the Women's Championship just the Women's Champion? No, I'm going to be calling it the WWE Women's Undisputed Champion, and I know what everyone's is going to say, but that's just a long mouthful. Just call it the Women's Championship, and that's it. Well, you might be right on that, but there's still one issue. You have the word Undisputed on the title. Unless we don't care about the word undisputed, we're just treating the word like trash, we're not treating it like the word undisputed has no meaning to it, which it does, in my opinion, because think about it. Remember when Eddie Guerrero was the undisputed champion? You know, that classic title? Just saying, just saying, you don't have to agree with me, but I'm just saying. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and just say what I have to say about this championship and... All this stuff. Like I said, the championship looks good. Same thing for the women's world title, but make it look a little bit different. Because it's kind of like you copy the world championship that Seth Rollins has, but make the strap white and just add the word women on there. Or just go for a sort of different design that's sort of like it. But but that's all I gotta say about that. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Do you think they should get rid of the word undisputed on this women's championship? Or should they just, I don't know, treat the word like garbage, like the word undisputed doesn't mean absolutely anything. Also, what do you think about WWE and UFC combining together as the TKO, which I'm not sure what it stands for, but I'm pretty sure it's got to stand for something. But anyways, other than list, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace out.